let's take three deep, intentional breaths together. And exhale. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and bring your attention back to circle. We'll start with our check-in. So remember, a check-in looks like this. I'll say my name. I give a strong emotional word, and then I'll introduce my friend to my left and my right. So does anybody want to start us off? Hi, my name is Aiden. Um, I feel a little bit stressed and just like kind of off. We all know from a teaching standpoint that students bring who they are. They bring their truths into the classroom. Um, usually when I don't take my ADHD medicine, my brain kind of wanders. Can we get about two or three people to make commitments to just check in with Aiden in the hallways? So let's send Aiden some love real quick. Teaching has to change. Teaching from before was teacher in the front, have a seat, I tell you, you do, life is good, you go home. If I never tap into your truth, if I never validate your truth, then I failed you as a teacher. When he told us about why you were off, it just really helps for us to give you support. Circle is getting to the root of what makes you so special. I am super excited and confident in Juan's abilities to lead and guide students through Circle Tomorrow for many reasons. He has a really unique capability of reading others and reading a group of people. So when you're facilitating, tell me what you're going to do to set them up. Um, thank you for allowing yourself to be vulnerable in the middle of the circle and allowing yourself to um, met the... That's right, yeah. you got it. Keep going. People are sometimes surprised. They think of it as this kind of a touchy-feely school in some ways, and it actually takes a lot of discipline and a lot of clarity and specificity to pull off something like the circles that we do. Our dream all along has been that we will turn circles over to the kids as they get into high school. We all know that middle schoolers are much more impacted by each other than they are by an adult. And so having the kids themselves lead the practice is just going to be more meaningful and, and more powerful for them. So I think they're ready, but we're all a little bit nervous, and I'm sure they are too. Framing it in such a way to where we want Circle to be inviting and welcoming. Mm -hmm. And so we want our body language to be inviting and welcoming too. But other than that, bro, I think you're going to do a solid, man. So our students, they want to express themselves. They have pure hearts. They want to share how they're feeling. But in most traditional schools, they don't have the opportunity to connect with others. It's just that people don't ask them to do that as much. And Valor Circle gives them a chance to do that. One day when I was sat at lunch, and you rubbed my back, and I was feeling down, and you showed caring to me. Roy Wash is a fifth grader, so he's been at Valor for almost two months now. And Roy Wash is usually like a pretty shy kid, so this work has kind of propelled him forward and uh, given him the, the opportunity to, to grow. And when I would like to appreciate you because you always like play with me and talk with me, and this, sh this shows me that you value friendship, and this affects our relationship because we can play together more and hang out more. And what we know about young kids, that you spend the time and develop the trust and the capacities on the social and emotional side so that kids are in a space to optimally learn. Since the first day of school, we were best friends, same for rewash, and this affects our relationship because we keep being friends, the three of us. Yeah, go ahead and stand up, buddy. Dear Mr. Wilson, I am sorry for being funny in class. Please forgive me. I did not mean to make you mad. I will not do this again. 
At Valor, we believe it's important not to leave any community member behind. In Circle, we discover when someone is going through a rough time and it gives us an opportunity to offer that person support. Sadiq, I wasn't uh, mad the other day when we had the disruptions in class, but I, I do accept your apology for calling out and for disrupting class. Uh, please know that um, I really value our friendship and I don't want you to ever feel worried. I think you're an amazing young man. And I'm really lucky to be your teacher. One of Valor's commitments is I commit to walking my talk. So if we're going to ask our students to participate in circles, to be vulnerable, to share, to leave their comfort zones and take risks, then we as a staff must also do the same. Thanks for coming to Circle. Um, just go ahead and check your hands as we get settled in. You know, this is our chance to come together and check in on relationships. I think some of you know, or I've shared just because of recent absences for being ill, that I, I do have lupus, um, which has just been terrifying. <laughs> um, And I was told yesterday to ask for help here. Circle allows individuals like myself, a black, African-American man, to get to a point to where I don't have to, I don't have to live out a stereotype. I don't have to be cold and hard and callous. I just want to make a commitment to you that I'm here. And I just want to be present. And I don't even know what that looks like, but I appreciate you so much. And you're a model of what, not only Circle, but what teaching looks like. Appreciate you. When we're most vulnerable is when learning takes place. And sometimes in our vulnerability, there is sometimes a pressure applied. And it's through that pressure that we gain the momentum and we gain the muscle that we need to power through. I think one being at Valor, the number of years that he has, and him appreciating other individuals within his circles that he has had, is gonna give him the opportunity to go out and share his truth about the fact of what Circle really is. First off, um, I'm very excited to be here, and I'm very excited to facilitate this Circle. Okay, um, Riblosh? I'm doing Big Heart, which is receiving um, limelight. Go ahead and uh, stand up, Riblosh. So the person um, who is doing limelight will stand in the middle of the circle and will uh, receive an appreciation. Um, who would like to start? For Wash, I'd like to appreciate you because during lunch, uh, we always talk to each other. And uh, I actually have somebody to talk to. You value friendship because I know you, I can count on you if I need a friend. You always answer and you never ignore me. You always seem really quiet, but at lunch you're always super funny. Because you're always so caring to everybody. Ruwash, may you please stay standing. So first off, how are you feeling? Right now I feel um, very emotional. Because um, so many people said nice things about me and, uh, and yeah. Circle is the, the opportunity for us to come together as a community to make sure our circle is strong. Facilitating a circle was like probably like one of the best experiences I've ever had and um, it was really meaningful to me. Juan, I just want to appreciate you for, man, showing up for Valor, with Valor, and then, uh, man, just leading that circle, man. So, appreciate that. If we can continue to push our kids to be better people once they're out in the world, it'll just be a matter of time before other schools realize that if you have that relational piece and kids feel loved and they feel like you understand their perspective, even though we don't come from the same backgrounds, that almost any growth can happen. We always question what is new. We always second look what is new, but it's not new. It's just a community.